Hello everyone, Charles Watts here, the Arsenal correspondent at Goal, joining you just after Arsenal have completed their Europa League group stage campaign with yet another win. Six wins from six, you can't ask for much more than that, and Arsenal will head into Monday's draw for the knockout stages as group winners. 4-2 they've won against Dundalk tonight, I'm sure you've probably seen the game, but I thought I'd pop on and just go over what I my views on it and also give my usual player ratings. I'm waiting at the moment for Mikel Arteta, I'm looking at my computer right now. Um, uh, we're on a Zoom call for him, but he's not arrived in his press conference yet. He's doing some TV stuff out on the pitch, and then he'll be heading in to speak to us. So I'll try and get this done before Mikel Arteta starts, and then tomorrow I'll pop back on, try and do another video just talking about what Mikel Arteta had to say and looking ahead to that big game against Burnley on Sunday. But job very well done for Arsenal today. A little bit disappointing. They conceded two goals, um, only two clean sheets in their group stages, and that's not great when he kind of think about the standard of play teams have been coming up against that'll be a little bit of a worry as will Runison in goal I think Arsenal need to cross their fingers and hope Bert Leno doesn't get any sort of significant injury this season because I'm not sure I would um, be too confident about Runison having to have an extended run of games in the Premier League um, but Hey ho! That, what, what are you going to do? I don't want to be talk about too many depressing things from tonight's game because we've had too many depressing videos of late. So I want to focus on the positives, and there were certainly were positives tonight. Start with Emil Smith Rowe. I kind of bigged him up a little bit today. Um, wrote a big piece on goal about him uh, in the preview of for this match. Spoke about him on this morning's video as well, and he certainly didn't let me down. Um, very good performance from Smith Rowe. Got an assist, three key passes. Most of anyone else on a, in an Arsenal shirt, other than Nicolas Pepe. Just his movement all night long, you know, getting in, linking up well, getting in front of um, the forwards and just really clever, good footwork. He just looks a decent, decent player um, for me, Emil Smith-Rowe. And um, this was his first start and I think we were all hoping to see him putting a good performance and he certainly did that. I mean, you look at his passing stats as well, 34 passes, 32 of them successful Um 27 of them in the opposition half as well so you know always on the front foot always looking to play the ball forward and um really good performance from smith row tonight i mean the assist wasn't exactly a great assist it was just a, a nice little slide rule pass to El Nenny. what a goal that was by on by the way um but still a decent showing for smith row and he can be very happy with his performance tonight and so can flow Barrigan, balligan <laughs> this kid yeah you'd you watch some players don't you and you think yeah, you, you've got it. You're, you've got something special about you, and and he does. I mean, his goal today he was only on the pitch half an hour. He got an assist and a goal, um, but it was his goal. The way he, he was never going to miss. You could just see as he was shaping up to to finish it. it was a lovely play from Pepe in the build up to set him up. But as he came sort of honed in on that ball, you knew what he was going to do. Henri like finish into the far corner. He was just never going to miss. And um, yeah, he looks he looks a really big talent. You can see why Arsenal desperate to get him to sign his new contract now and why there's a lot of interest in him from elsewhere as well only out only got a year left on his deal so Arsenal really need to get moving on that his um play for Joe Willett's goal as well the hold up play was really nice as well um you know showed a lot of strength there backing into the man holding the ball up laying it off to Willock who scored his third goal in the competition this season um so, yeah, good night works for Balogun, good night work for Smith Rowe. Willock, as I said, scored yet again. Nketiah scored again. He's a top scorer for Arsenal now this season, Eddie Nketiah. Um, fair play to him. Good goal, good uh, tenacity. And for Nketiah, it was a, a long distance goal as well, 12 yards. I think it was actually the longest, furthest out he's ever scored a goal for Arsenal, Nketiah. So, not quite the six yard box that we've come to know and love for Eddie. Um, but decent goal, like I said, now the top scorer for Arsenal this season. So, you can't ask for much more than that from Eddie and it, just as usual with the Europa League it was um, the Haylem boys doing it again and that's the way it's been in this competition so far they're always standing up they're always producing their numbers are good and uh, I think that's what we can all take from these group stages it's been enjoyable the Premier League's been tough to watch not many goals I think it's 10 isn't it in 11 games this season I think they've got double that already in the Europa League in about six games this season so it's been a lot of fun but it's certainly the competition is going to get a lot harder now in the knockout stages because the opposition has not been great I think we all know that so we're not going to get carried away by this and think oh Arsenal have turned their season around they haven't and they're going to have to go into Monday, uh, Sunday's game in the, against Burnley in the Premier League and get themselves back up and running in that competition. But for now, it's been a lot of fun watching the Europa League group stages and it's been a lot of fun watching the young players and it's been great to see them really stand up and make their mark as well, which Mikel Arteta would have des been desperate to see. 
Right, let's go through some player ratings, shall we, today. I've still, you'll see me keep looking down. I'm actually looking at the Zoom call, just making sure Arteta, Mikel Arteta hasn't arrived yet, and I have to quickly cut this off. Um, so Runison in goal, I thought he was suspect for both of the goals, to be honest. Um, just, he, I don't know, he, his diving distance doesn't seem to be great. He's not the biggest man. You can see that when he's warming up at the Emirates. He's not the biggest man. Um and I just thought he was a little bit weak. I thought the first goal kind of went through his wrists a little bit. It was a decent strike, but I'm I'm yet to be convinced by Renison, I have to admit. So um, I'm going to give Renison a five. Um, Callum Chambers, first start for Chambers since the injury. He'll be enjoying that. Actually had a goal ruled out right at the end for offside. It was just about offside as well. Um, but a solid enough performance from Chambers. A little bit leggy. He's not, you know, he's never been the fastest anyway, and it's going to take a little bit of time to get up to full speed for him. Um, but a decent enough showing. So I'll give Callum a six. Mustafi, I'm going to give a, a six again. Um, and Mary, I'm going to give a six. So all the three centre backs. I, I like the look of Mary, though, I have to say today. I thought the way he stepped out, he reads the game really well. We kind of knew that from when he came from Flamengo. That's what all the reports said about him. And you saw that today. He read the game where he stepped out where he needed to. He made made him some good uh, sort of interceptions, and he strode out well. Um, so I, I was quite I was quite impressed with Mary. I have to say, and I thought it was decent. He made two interceptions. He gained possession six times, which was the most of anyone else on um, in an Arsenal shirt, along with Pepe and Willock. So that was um, that was solid play for Mary. Interceptions too as well. No one else made more interceptions than Pablo Mary. So a solid enough performance from him. I'll give all three of them a six. In midfield, Elneny has to get a seven for that goal. What a strike that was. Absolute beauty. So much reminded me so much of Flamini against Newcastle at the Emirates a long, long time ago. Brilliant strike from Elneny. So he gets a seven for that alone. Um, Joe Willock, I'm going to give a seven again. Good goal for Willock. Does what he does best in the Europa League. Popping up in a box, scoring well. Uh, good powerful finish from Balogun's assist. Cedric, I thought, had a decent enough game. Couple of dodgy moments from Cedric, but um, he had a decent enough game down the right-hand side. I'll give him a six as well. Ainsley Maitland-Niles also a six. And then going forward, Emil Smith-Rowe. I'm going to give Emil Smith-Rowe an eight. Um, I thought it was excellent. I really enjoyed watching Smith Rowe. Like I said, love his movement. Love the way he looks to get forward and um, get in front of the forwards, uh, the strikers, and get himself into the box. And his footwork's great. So I'm going to give Emil Smith Rowe an eight. Going to give Eddie a seven for his goal. Um, good tenacity. Looked disappointed when he came off. You can understand that. Um, so, uh, yeah. He, he would have fancied some more goals in that last half an hour, you could tell. But I'm going to give Eddie a seven for his goal. Pepe, fairly bright. You look at his stats, they were good, you know, all over the pitch. And possession gained, he was high. Interceptions, tackles, and then the, the areas you wouldn't expect Pepe to really be impressing in. But, he, you know, he put himself about. He had three key passes. He got himself an assist, a good assist for Balogun's goal. So solid enough night's work for Pepe. I saw a, little, a few people on social media having a bit of a go at him for tonight, but I didn't think he was too bad. So I'm going to give Pepe a seven. Um, in terms of the subs, I'm going to give Balogun an eight. He was only on a pitch about half an hour, but golden assist, you can't ask for much more than that. I thought he was great. Um, Sabayas came on. I didn't quite understand that sub. I thought it was a bit risky on this dodgy pitch. I thought he'd much rock, um, give half an hour to Aziz or something like that, but he brought on Sabayas for half an hour. Give Sabayas a six, and then Aziz did eventually come on. So did Ben Cottrell. They both made their debuts, so big nights for them. Um, they came on sort of late on, didn't really, weren't too involved. There's one nice moment for Aziz when he dropped the shoulder and lost his man. Um, but other than that, it was a bit, you know, the game was done and dusted. So I'll give, I'm not, I can't really rate them, you know, I'll just give them a, a five or a six, but it'd be hard to actually give them a proper rating. Right, so that's it from my match review and player ratings. Thank you very much for watching. Mikel still yet to arrive, so I will pop back on if I can tomorrow and uh, do a little video talking about what he's had to say and also looking ahead to that big game on Sunday. The Premier League returns for Arsenal and got to win, got to get themselves back on track. Burnley at the Emirates. Thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your night.